Adthrive is one of the biggest and best premium ad networks out there for bloggers and publishers. They're very attractive to get into, but many people get rejected when they apply. Why? And how can you make sure you're not one of them? In this video, I'll show you exactly how I got in twice, and I'll also share some great tips for you that you need to know before you even consider applying. Hey, what's up? This is Morten from Authority Sidekeek, bringing you the best tips and tools for building passive income websites. I have six sites running premium ads with AdThrive and Ezoic, and they provide well for me and my family, and they have done so for many years. We share a lot of tutorials, guides, and numbers, so consider subscribing if you're interested in that. But today, we're going to look at how to get into AdThrive. I've been making passive income websites for around 10 years, and I'll share my best tips on how to get accepted. Before I share my personal tips from my own experience on how to get into AdThrive, let's take a look at what AdThrive actually tells you to have prepared before you sign up and hit apply. So on the website they state that you should have mainly US traffic and you cannot be blacklisted with Google or any other ad network out there. You also need to make sure that all your content is unique. And the last point they make is that your content should be amazing, which of course it is. So here's what happens when you apply. AdFry will send out your site to a list of advertisers in the network. They'll probably look at your site for around 5 seconds, so you need to make sure your site looks professional. That first impression is really important, and you need to make sure that you have a website that the advertisers want to be associated with. So here are my personal tips. It seems like AdFry is mostly for beauty, crafts, family, mom bloggers, food, and finance, and so on, and I'd include interior design, travel, and lifestyle to that list. So it's quite extensive, and as you can tell, I'm not the typical mom blogger, so I'm sure you'll do just fine if you have a good quality blog. Just make sure you follow the tips I'm going to share with you now. Let's move over to my computer screen. Okay, so this is one of the websites I have on AdThrive, and I want to show you exactly what I did to prepare it to get approved by AdThrive. So first I wanted to make sure that I had a custom made logo that looks really well and professionally made. And I also wanted to make sure that the whole feel of the website looked like 2019 and not like the 90s, you know. So make sure to choose a good theme and make sure that everything looks wide and nice and something that all the bigger brands want to associate themselves with. Another thing to think about is to have a clear about page. I have a link here in the widget here to our about page and I created that before I, I tried to get approved with AdThrive. So I put this together to show who we are, who's behind the website and to mention that we have a YouTube Silver Award for this YouTube channel and that we've been featured on Netflix, national TV, national newspapers, podcast features and so on and a bit of a personal story just to show that there's some real people behind and to show that this is a legit business and something that the bigger brands would have no problem associating themselves with. But don't worry if you don't have all these fancy things to show. Just make sure you have your face there, maybe a phone number, an address, whatever you can do to show that you're a real person and it's a legit business behind the website. Another thing you really need to think about is to remove any content that talks about violence, adult stuff, etc. You need the website to be 100% family friendly. So, for example, you cannot have words like guns and violence and talk about these things. If you have content, even just mentioning or talking about that, just having those words on your website can often have AdThrive turning you down. So AdFry will send out a website to a bunch of advertisers and they will also have some algorithms look at your website to see what topics it's about. So one thing you should do is to go into Google and type site colon your website and then try different words like guns. Okay, so I actually have this word here on my website now talking about, what is this, a water gun and so on. So that's exactly what we want to avoid. But when I signed up, I didn't have these words there. I assume they're not looking too much into it once you have gotten approved. So you also want to do the same thing for words like kill and violence and so on. 
You also need to make sure that you have a good privacy policy page. There's a standard one you can use in WordPress and that's gonna do just fine. They will guide you how to make it even better once you sign up and get approved. If you have any questions about this, make sure to leave a comment and please do anyway, because it's always nice to see that somebody is actually listening out there. So should you choose AdDrive? There are many ad networks out there like Zoic, Mediavine, AdDrive, etc. And I personally use Zoic and AdDrive as I've seen amazing earnings with them. They are premium ad networks that will pay you much more than AdSense and many of the other low-end ad networks out there. AdDrive is definitely one of the best networks. But they are lacking on the reporting side. They just recently started showing which of your content is earning you the most money. And in this regard, I'm much more fond of the Zoic where you find a ton of reporting on these things. But it seems like AdThrive is finally coming around on the reporting side and they just told me that they will add information about how much you earn per thousand page view per post. So it will be breaking down by traffic and not just be like one number. That to me is by far the most valuable information you can have when you're planning new content. So like the video if you found it useful. See you next time.